Hi everyone, welcome to our next video. Um, this video is going to be on thesis statements, uh, which is something that's really going to be useful for you as a skill, not only as teachers, but as maybe students if you plan on um, going into graduate school. Even here at QRTA, we need to have thesis statements in all kinds of writing, whether we're teaching or learning, or just writing in general. Um, doing research, all these kinds of things. Thesis statements are super, super essential um, for being a strong and effective writer. So first of all, what is a thesis statement? A thesis statement is basically a strong introductory statement. It's introducing your topic. So you will be discussing the topic of your paper in this short statement, but you'll also be mentioning in your topic Basically your claim or your position, maybe your claim is that students work better in groups. That's a claim, that's a, how you, that's a statement, that's maybe your position, what you believe is true, but you're not just saying, I think students work better in groups and that's your introductory statement because it's the topic of your paper. No, you're also adding rationale, provides rationale, which means you're giving reasons for that. There has to be evidence, right? So maybe you're saying, Students work better in groups because of X, Y, and Z reasons, right? And this is basically our, a thesis statement. It's kind of what your paper is going to look like and all the points you're going to touch on in your paper um, in a nutshell, we say. In a nutshell is an English phrase to show basically in short. It's a super short, small, tiny little overview. Why are thesis statements important? This is something I really want you to think about so that you do remember to do this every time and when you are writing and kind of crafting a thesis statement, you're doing so because you know you need it. <laughs> you need it. It is very true because if, a, if someone is not writing a thesis statement in their paper, if they don't have one, the reader can become lost. What is your topic really about? What points are you going to touch on in your paper? What do you as the writer claim? What is, what is your position? What is your stance on this topic? It also helps you as the writer to kind of plan and guide your paper. So when you have this in the introduction, you know where you're going from there, right? And so does the reader. The writer and the reader know where they're going, and it provides for a strong introduction. Without a thesis statement, it's very hard if not impossible, to really have a strong introduction for an essay or a research paper or so on. So how do we write a thesis statement, right? Don't be overwhelmed. I know there's a lot of information on this slide. I just wanted to make sure I have examples for you. There's a formula. It's really easy. You're adding one, two, and three. That's all you're doing. You're combining them. So let's go through each little piece. There's three pieces that we want to make sure you have in your thesis statements. Um, Firstly, you need to have the topic or question of your paper. So maybe your question, let's think of it as an inquiry report because that's coming up for you all. Um, is group work more effective than individual work? Now, again, we're, this is not, we're not writing it yet. This is just all the three pieces that we will combine, right? So we need to make sure we know what our topic is, obviously, or what our question is, what, what we're really trying to investigate in our paper or to discuss in our paper. Next thing you want to ask yourself is, what is my position? So I have this question or I have this topic. What is the claim I want to make? What is the statement I want to make? Maybe my statement is group work is more effective. Group work is the most effective, whatever. OK, so I know my topic. I know what I'm asking. I know what I'm investigating, for example. I know what I believe after my research. After I've done my research, I know my claim. I know my stance, which is group work is more effective than individual work. I'm not saying this is true, by the way. It depends on <laughs> what, what research you've done, right? Um, but this is just an example. And then the last part, which is equally, if not more important, are your reasons for this position, basically evidence to your claim. Imagine someone tells you, um, shawarma rima, I think that's the place, is the best restaurant, the best shawarma restaurant. I, as a person, would say, why? Why is it better? That, that's your claim, that's your stance, but why is it better than any other place? You can say, oh, because their bread is really good and because they use really good spices um, and they're open at the best hours, right? So there's, there's your reasons, right? You have evidence. I'm not just gonna believe you 
for no reason, right? I like to know the reasons. And this is what we find in academia as well. Um, we want to, if you're making a claim, we need that evidence. And we've talked about this throughout your diploma, right? A thesis statement needs the, the exact same thing. So maybe you find you have three reasons. So maybe when you're planning your thesis statement, go ahead and write them out. One, two, three. Let's think. Hmm, students learn collaboration when they're in group work. So that's one reason that I found in my research, that I found in my practicum. Another reason I saw was that students get a lot more speaking time, so it's a lot more communicative. So this is another reason why group work is much more effective um, than being alone, right? Because individual work, they're not communicating as much. And maybe the third one is I've done research on the affective filter, and I've found that student anxiety is reduced when they are in um, group work. Great, so now I have, one, my topic. I figured out my question, I know my topic. Two, I, I know my position, I know where I stand, I know what claim I want to make. And three, I know the reasons behind why I have that claim. I have them laid out. Now, all uh, broken apart like this, it's not a thesis statement yet. So we have the pieces, now let's put them together to make one nice, strong sentence that introduces our topic. So now we say combine these to make a thesis statement. So. I've combined all these elements, not word for word, I've crafted them into a nice new uh, sentence to discuss basically the overview of my paper in one sentence. And my reader knows exactly what I'm gonna talk about. So let's, let's hear it. Assigning group work to students is much more effective than individual assignments. Due to the development of collaboration skills in students, the communicative nature of group interaction, and the reduction of pressure and anxiety in students. Done. That is a full-on thesis statement. Everyone knows the points I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about those three points. Collaboration, speaking time, anxiety. I'm going to discuss those, the evidence, the science, later on in the paper, in the body, for example. Um, I've talked about my stance. I've talked about my topic. The reader knows exactly what's going on. And you know, as a writer, that maybe you need to devote time to each of those reasons, right? Okay, so let's look again. So assigning group work is much more effective. There's both our topic and our position in one small statement. And then here we talk about um, the, where am I? There we are. Um, the development of collaboration skills, which is if you look up to number three, number one, students learn collaboration the communicative nature of group interaction, back down at the thesis statement, if we look at number two, listed in the third reason, or in the number three, the reasons for this position, um, which is more speaking time, we've just said that in a different way, right? More speaking time, communicative nature, that's a way to explain the same thing. And then the reduction of pressure and anxiety, which is our third reason up in number three for reasons. Uh, student anxiety is reduced. So really, I've combined all of these elements into one strong statement. It's as simple as that. We don't have to go into all the details. We don't have to make it a super run-on sentence, but we also don't want to make it super short by saying, group work is great. No, we need something a little bit stronger than that. So something to keep in mind um, after knowing kind of how to craft this statement is that a good thesis statement is a statement not a question. So it's something to keep in mind. Don't make your thesis statement, is, is student uh, work better done in groups or individually? That's not a strong statement because you as a writer have not taken a position. Maybe you take a position later on in the paper, but your reader can't know that, so they're a little bit confused in the beginning. They also want reasons. They want to talk, you want to talk about your reasons as to what you're going to talk about, the evidence that you have for why you have a claim. If you put it in a question, it's not going to give you the opportunity to discuss reasons. A good thesis statement is also one sentence. Sounds crazy, right? There's a lot of information in one sentence, but it's doable. You saw me do it in the slide before. It's very simple. So you're just adding those three pieces and you can combine them using commas. We love commas in English because they can, they can create um, compound sentences, right? And um, an, a good thesis statement is also inclusive of all your reasons on your stance. When I say all your reasons, you're not just gonna say, okay, group work is great because students have good collaboration skills after. 
that does not encompass the entirety, the wholeness of my paper, right? To me, that's just one reason. But then if I talk about other reasons in the rest of my paper, it's not cohesive. It's not tied together nicely. We want to make this thesis statement a nice little package that shows exactly what we're going to be talking about throughout the paper. Which brings me to my next point. A clear overview of the main points of your, pa of your paper. So a good thesis statement is clear. It's obvious. Okay, here's my topic, and here's my general reasons that I will be discussing with you. We don't want to go into all the specific details, the specific research that we read in the introduction. That's what you do in the body paragraph. You're just touching on all the main points. So I hope this clarified thesis statements for you. And I hope that they become a little bit easier as they're definitely going to be necessary in the rest of the papers you write both in this diploma and throughout the rest of your life. Thanks!